your dating game idea didn't work out. But it wasn't like you were really looking to replace Tuck and Boots now, were you? No, not really. I was just so mad at them. And sometimes I just want a friend who is all my own, you know? Someone I don't have to share with everyone else. You mean like an imaginary friend? No, a real friend. Like when Tuck had boots before we could all see him. I want a special friend like that. Oh, a special friend. I see. Like how Portia de Rossi is Ellen's special friend, right? Okay, you're totally missing my point. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. I'll be your special friend, Tippy. What? Who said that? Said what? You didn't just hear something? No, but I've been having some issues with my reception lately. Like I have some kind of block on my audio feed. I can help you become a star. There it is again. <laughs> well, maybe you're hearing my stomach grumbling. Because even though I'm not able to eat anything, that doesn't stop it from asking. It's like being anorexic without all the benefits. Let me help you, Tippy. Who are you? And where are you? Okay, it seems like you're having some kind of internal battle at the moment. So I'll just leave you to work things out among yourselves. Smell you later. Uh, right. Good, we're finally alone. Oh my gosh, I must be going crazy. Hearing voices is definitely the first sign. Ah, you're not going crazy, Tippy. I've been watching you for a while, oh. and I think you have a lot of talent. You just need someone with connections who can help you get to the next level, and that's where I can... Whoa! Is it right, Dreamy? Or the weather girls were right. It really is raining men. Well, I'm actually more of a wooden man, like Pinocchio, only simpler. But lately, my knees have been giving me trouble, so I had to drop out of the puppet profession in favor of something much more rewarding. You're not becoming a ventriloquist, are you? Because they're just creepy. No, nothing like that, please. Uh, I'm actually here for you, Tippy. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Crad Seacroft, and I'm what you might call your fairly odd father. It's like the generic version of a fairy godmother. Not as prestigious, but just as effective. And I'm here to help you become a star. Seriously? You're going to help me become a star? But you don't even have a face. How is anyone going to take you seriously without a face? Ah, who needs a face? Ever hear of the street artist Banksy? No one knows what his face looks like, but people certainly talk about him. Uh, uh, j just a second. Uh, do, uh, do can, not, can I help you? I can, I'm fine. I just Are you sure? Need, but, oh, uh, when I said I wanted a special friend, uh, I guess I should have been more specific. Uh, thanks. Uh, uh, okay, now where were we? Uh, you were going to help me become a star? Oh, right. You got any current headshots, sweetheart? Maybe one with you in a tub. <laughs> God, God, is that an earthquake? No, it's probably just honey snoring. You used to be able to kick her to stop, but now that she's a ghost, that doesn't really have an effect anymore. Oh, that's unbearable. Let's mute her, shall we? Oh, yeah, right. Seriously. Wow, how did you do that? Look, just because I'm wooden doesn't mean I'm worthless. But gotta run for now. I'll be in touch. We'll do lunch. Bye-bye, sweetie. WTF? Oh, Am I dreaming? Uh-oh. Were you dreaming of what? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Hey, does anyone know where the Sixth Sense DVD is? It's down here, honey. Not again. That's the third time she's watched it this week. She thinks it's a comedy. She loves to laugh and point out all the inaccuracies. Which reminds me, why wasn't Honey able to hear the little wooden man when he was speaking? I hope he wasn't just a figment of my imagination, because if this is what my mind thinks a talent agent looks like, I'm in serious trouble. Hey everyone, how would you like to become an honorary guardian of the magic wand and have your pet appear on a future episode of Cat Clips? 
All you have to do is download our free Cat Clips Ambassador Kit at wizardofwit.com and then take pictures or videos of how you've used them. You can print them out as posters, magnets, or stickers and post them on your locker, your cubicle at work, your community bulletin board, your favorite pet store or shelter, and then send us the pictures or videos of where you put them and we'll choose one ambassador each month to become an honorary guardian. Another way you can become a guardian is to simply post a video response letting us know what strange things are going on in your area. Now remember, in order to defeat the dark forces, we must build our numbers, and I'm counting on you to help me do it. Good luck, ambassadors. Until the next time, keep that fur groomed, people.